Namaskaram. Welcome to my channel, VPK Nutrition, Mind Body Healing with Pushpa. I'm Pushpa Sandarajan, registered dietitian, Ayurvedic practitioner, and yoga teacher. In today's episode, I'll be talking about the second yama, which is Satyam or Honesty. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the second yama or honesty or satyam. Now, before we go into the, the meaning of honesty and how it is beneficial from a yogic standpoint, let's talk about the opposite, which is dishonesty. Now, the commonest definition for dishonesty is speaking untruth. And of course, this untruth when directed at somebody is going to hurt that person. Now, again, let's look at our day to day life and see there are subtle ways in which dishonesty can also be manifesting. Number one, say thinking something in your mind, but saying something completely different, not really being honest to the other person about what you really think or feel. Number two, it could be um, failure to keep up a promise. So it is important to promise something only if you think you can deliver. Number three, Breaking a trust. If somebody shared something with you, you do not want to break that trust because that is also dishonest. Number four, um, half truths or not giving the complete information is also considered to be honest, dishonest. And this could be something that you might have seen if you have a teenager in the house. Number five, again, simple uh, white lies. People always rationalize saying white lies are okay because it doesn't hurt the other person. But really speaking, it does hurt the other person in the long run. And it also goes back to your own character as to what kind of a person you really are. So these are five things that can uh, dis subtle uh, forms of dishonesty to keep in mind. So now let's look at uh, Satyam. Now Satyam is honesty uh, as it relates to ourselves in yoga. So the first thing is satya, this being dishonest is actually very harmful to our own selves. So how does that work? Every time you are dishonest, you are sowing a seed deep within yourself. So you can compare this to a particle of dust that settles on a mirror or a glass. So every dishonest uh, word or deed is like a dust that is settling on top of a mirror or a glass. So as you keep adding more and more of this uh, dishonest dust, there's a film formed on the glass or the mirror. And so when you look through this glass or mirror, your perception also gets distorted or blurred. So when we look at the world with this kind of uh, distortion, everything appears distorted and really you're not seeing the truth. So that's why they say the whole world is a projection of our own mind because the, the more pure it is, you're going to see things for the way it is. But if the more impurity is in the mind, you're going to see, have a distorted image of the world around us. Now, Sat is the inner truth. So in order to make that inner journey, you need that honesty and you need that mirror or glass to be clean so you can move inwards. So this is how you hurt yourself when you're really not honest in the long run. The second benefit of Satyam is when you're practicing honesty, you are allowing the best, your best self to flourish. So there is a quote that I read that says that doing what, whatever is right, even when no one is looking, is called integrity. And this is something to remember. Number three, it has been said that uh, speaking the truth at all circumstances, the yogi attains Vak Siddhi. Now, Siddhi is a Sanskrit word meaning achievement or accomplishment, which is uh, gotten after uh, years of sadhana or uh, spiritual practice. Vak means words. So basically what it means is that a person who practices honesty for a long period of time at all circumstances will be able to, whatever that person says, will actually become the truth, will actually happen. So by mere thought alone, they can manifest things in their life. Now, again, the new age gurus, if you listen, they always say, think positive thoughts. You, Whatever you think in the future, it is going to happen. Now, again, that may not happen for everybody, especially if you're not a very honest person. So it is very important to have that honesty built into your, uh, as a virtue, in order for you to even manifest things in the future. Number four, uh, truth should always be 
said in a very compassionate and kind manner because ahimsa is the first yama and that is still very important so ahimsa paramo dharma i said that last week so always make sure you have enough compassion and kindness when you are speaking the truth number 5 the taitre upanishad which is an ancient scripture also says there are words should be satyam priyam and hitam so satyam means honest priyam which is pleasing to listen to and hitam hitam means useful or necessary to the person who is receiving the words so if it does not satisfy these category then this criteria then do not even bother saying it sometimes our silence is better than saying the words number 6 even ayurveda talks about the honesty in the food level so a legend has it that charaka charya uh, at one time um, he turned into a bird and he was trying to ask all of his students what is healthy food so one of his prime students vag batta hurur dashtanga hrudayam apparently said hit book myth book rith book and remember this is a legend so this is more about the message rather than all the stories so the f- first one is hit book so f- healthy food is one that is healthy for your body or body type second one myth book myth book means healthy food is one that is eaten in moderate quantities not overeating and then rith book is food uh, that is eat bought with money that was earned honestly is more digestible to the body and healthy for the body than food that is bought with dishonest means so you can see even at the subtlest level how these things can make a difference on in our body so in summary um for for the honesty there is a beautiful sutra given in manusmriti and i am going to chant that now and give you the meaning of that satyam bruyat priyam bruyat speak truth in such a way that is pleasing to others na bruyat satyam apriyam never speak truth which is unpleasant to others priyam cha nanrutam bruyat never speak untruth because it is pleasing to someone so again white lies may fit under this category esha darvah sanatanah so this is the path of eternal morality or sanatana dharma so these are some of the things to think about and consciously practice this week and always uh, to grow in yoga and bring about that union of body mind and spirit so have a wonderful week ahead thank you everyone for joining me Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please like it, subscribe and share this video with others who might be benefited. Uh have a wonderful week ahead and see you next week.